Hello and welcome to Some Grub with Mark Russell. Today we're going to be doing something for the 100th subscriber. Uh, thank you very much. I'm going to be making beer bread. Which if you know any of my friends and family there, it's quite a hit. It's not the healthiest thing, but it's a lacquer treat. And I'm going to show you a little secret today. I've got two beers here. Panzer, black label. I'm going to be showing the difference it can make. Um, let me know in the comments below which you think is going to be better, which is going to rise more, which is going to taste better. And yeah, well, the answer will be at the end of the video. So let's get going. We need a one bottle of beer for each bread. So. So here's, here's the bottles. So Hansa and Black Label. This is, these are beers you both get in South Africa. They're both actually from the same manufacturer in South Africa, S.A.B. Miller. Um, so we're going to put these on either side. We'll this test. We will need, for both of the, the breads, we're going to need a kilogram of self-raising flour. This is a self-raising recipe, so we're not going to let it rise or anything. We're going to mix it and put it straight in the oven. We're going to need three cups of flour for each uh, bread, which works out to 500 grams each. So this will all be used. The next thing we're going to add some salt, and then white sugar. Only about a quarter cup of sugar. Um, so it's like a, just to give it a little bit of sweetness. It also makes it, like it's more of a, a cakey bread actually than a than the bread you'd get in the supermarket. So. That's where the white sugar comes in. So, I put the oven on to 180 degrees for one bake. Now I've got a mixing dish here. You don't have to do this, but I like to use a sieve for flour to crack open my flour. Over here, I'm going to crack open my flour. There, make sure it's nice and level. Put it in. Go for another one. Level. Put it in. It's more this level. Put it in. Okay, so now take a big spoon, you can take a tablespoon. And I'm just going to sieve it through. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of sugar. Just about that much. Doesn't have to be exact. If you want it sweeter, you can add more. If you want it, don't want to put sugar in, you don't have to really. Um, salt. Teaspoon of salt. See how it's all white stuff. White stuff is bad stuff, but we do it anyway. Let's see if we can get some of this through. Yeah, 
long enough. Put this aside. Alrighty, first one is going to be Carling Black Label Beer. International award winning beer, I think it's won lots of prizes. It's known for its high alcohol, called Zamalek in South Africa. Call it Zamalek, after, after work beer. Okay, so I'm going to have my spoon, I'm going to have my Zamalek, and I'm going to put it in. And stir it up. It's um, not your traditional dough. It's got to be slightly wet um, when you put it in. And this is already mixing it pretty well. So I like to serve the flour as much as I can. It just, I don't know, just for me, it just tends to mix quite nicely. The quickest way to make bread. Excellent for a braai. Beautiful for a braai actually. And you don't yeah, you don't want to knead it too much. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use my hands, I'm just gonna use the back of the spoon. already looking pretty good. Alrighty, let's get a baking pan. Got two bread pans of equal size. I'm going to spray this with spray and cook. So can oil, just to make it non-stick. It really is non-stick, but just to make it even better. And then I'll go in the oven. As you can see, the exact same. It's the exact same test. Gotta be careful not to get this in my camera. Well those cameras been through a lot already. There you go. Now take it like this. Also, these are not the, the biggest breads, but I'm just making them kind of small because there's only two of us in this house. And, you know, don't need too much more. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to put mine in at the exact same time. So I'm going to hurry up and do the second one. It's the exact same quantities. And then we'll chuck it in the oven. It's going to take about, about 35 minutes to 45 minutes depending on the heat I'm doing in the oven so it's a little bit more controlled it's probably going to be around 45 minutes we do the the knife test there must be no dough in the middle and then it's ready to eat you'll leave it on you'll leave it to, you'll leave it to cool for about 10 minutes and then you can take it out of the tin because it should all release from the sides and then the best way to eat this is butter or margarine preferably butter high quality butter and hot, serve hot. Good starter, not a healthy starter, but a good starter. Okay, so this is the hot sir. And here is the black label. 
there's slightly, um, actually put, there was slightly more flour in the Hunter. That's why it's a little higher to begin with. The left one must have been slightly below 500 grams. I just chucked the rest of the packet in for the Hunter. Maybe it's my mistake. As you can see, they both look pretty similar right now. I'm going to put seeds on top of the Hunter just to make sure I, can, I don't mix them up. Seeds over. Okay. Cool. Now these are going to go in the oven, and we'll take them out in about 45 minutes. So the two brains are in the oven. While we wait, I thought I'd just chat. Um, thank you very much for 100 subscribers. I started this out um, during lockdown to keep myself busy. It's turned into a bit of a hobby. And I hope to keep this going while I'm, I'm going into I'm going into season now working. So I'm not going to be able to do this very often. But I'm trying to set up a way to make this easier for myself. I'm hoping to have someone to help me soon. And yeah, um, this is my sort of trial. This is my sort of trial at, at sort of live streaming. I've set everything up as I maybe would do... Um, I might, obviously with a few upgrades, um, I'm looking to live stream a bit. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please give a, you know, please spread this out there. Hopefully we get more subscribes and more likes to the point where this can be a little bit monetized and then I can start, you know, paying this a little bit more attention. Right now this is purely just a hobby, but I hope to keep entertaining. I hope to keep coming up with fresh ideas. And who knows, maybe one day we'll, you know, one day we'll have a full, fully fledged channel. Um, yeah, I appreciate the, all of this. Um, to every one of you, to every one of you hundred subscribers, thank you very much. This is a unique video that I'm dedicating to you. This is a personal favorite thing of mine that I always do at parties and brides when I go, go visit. Uh, it's always a hot favorite. It even trumps my own poikies. So, here you go. This for you, and I hope you like the end result. 45 minutes is up. I'm going to take the bread out of the oven. How does that look? Okay, let's do a test. Toothpick, well, steak, 100% clean, 100% clean, cool, so now they're going to rest for 5 to 10 minutes, you could generally want to let them cool and they come out of the tins much easier, so we'll see you in 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I'm going to take the bread out. Alrighty, so this bread's been up for 10 minutes, so I'm going to give it a slice. That soft, fluffy, beautiful. I don't know how this hunter got so, so big. This is a and, and there we go. Also looking light and fluffy and delicious. Alrighty, so let's uh, start with the black label. And take a bite. You know what, it almost tastes, almost tastes like there's cheese in here. Um, it's a nice sort of beery flavor that comes through. Oh, just, what, just what you want in a, a beer bread. That slight sweetness of the sugar. It's not over, overpowering. You don't taste it like sweet, but it's like... 
just elevates the bread a bit. It's kind of like having just enough salt on your food. It just kind of like brings out a bit of flavor. Um, very light and fluffy, delicious. Here's the the Hansa one. I'm gonna take a bite into it. Slightly more bitter. You're gonna taste the Hansa's. Mm, sorry. Um, the Hansa is a very. It's a pilsner, so it's got very hoppy. And you definitely taste sort of that bitterness of the hops that comes through. Also light and fluffy. Delicious. Um, generally, when I make beer breads, I like to use different beers, and they bring out different flavors. So, next time, I'd love to use a craft beer so or a different kind of beer please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a certain type of beer be put in a beer bread um, I am from South Africa so it has to be locally sourced um, so if you're not from South Africa maybe you can mention a mainstream beer that I can try if you want to see how it looks and yeah thank you for 100 subscriptions you guys rock and we'll we'll see you soon for another video